down with Colleen's chief of police to find out what's behind this drop in crime. Plus, a Colleen high schooler known for overachieving has just accomplished his biggest goal yet. We'll talk about it in this week's Central Texas Spotlight. And dozens of Texas families gather to honor fallen military heroes this weekend. Channel 6 News Weekend Edition starts right now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Imani Payne. 2017 was one of the worst years for violent crime in Colleen. But after a change in leadership and policy, that crime was nearly cut in half last year. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore tells us what KPD changed and what the new policies mean for this year. Andrew. Money, when you look at the last half of 2018, and we're going to tell you what that means for this year for the department coming up at 10. Money. All right, thanks, Andrew. After months of delays, Justice of the Peace Claudia Brown is heading to trial. Following several controversial rulings, it's now up to a jury to decide if she'll get to keep her job or be removed. Brown made national headlines back in 2017 when she set a historic $4 billion bond for a murder suspect, something she says she did to highlight the broken legal system. The judge was also criticized for setting a $2,000 bond in her own son's DUI case. Despite calls for her removal, Brown says she's more than capable of carrying out her duties and has no plans to resign. An online petition supporting Brown now has close to 1,000 signatures. Jury selection will get underway at 9 a.m. tomorrow with testimony to follow. Well, it's time now for a first check of our weather. It's been a chilly weekend so far. Meteorologist Zach Scott is standing by with what we can expect for the work week ahead. Hey, Zach. Warmer conditions. Imani, can we just say it was an awful weekend <laughs> <laughs> as far as Texas standards go? Pretty miserable, I suppose. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> From uh, what a winter's weekend we saw. Uh, very warm minutes. All right, thanks, Zach. And downtown Temple is gearing up for a makeover. Thanks to some grant money, two downtown properties will be renovated to reflect these sketches. The developer plans to construct a pizza restaurant, tap room, deli, and coffee shop, as well as feature some outdoor dining and entertainment space. No word yet on when the project will be complete. Health officials say seven detainees at a Houston immigration facility have come down with mumps. Now, this is a contagious disease. One person went to a hospital for treatment while the others are being treated at the facility. Those who are showing symptoms have been put in isolation and others who may have been exposed are in quarantine. The health department is working with the facility on controlling the spread of the viral disease. We have every reason to believe that the individuals who are ill are still at the facility. The officials there are on top of the case and they've kept the folks there so they have not been released to the public. And I think that's one of the, your biggest questions and your biggest concerns. Health officials say most people recover from mumps without serious complications, but it can cause serious health problems in less than 1% of those who come down with it. The CDC says those who are properly vaccinated are protected for life. Today's weather did not slow down the search for a missing Grand Prairie couple who were last seen Tuesday. Walt Zim Morales and her boyfriend Alfonso Hernandez went missing Tuesday morning. Hernandez's car was found ditched on a road near White Rock Lake. Weeks before the disappearance, Morales filed a restraining order against her longtime boyfriend, who she has two children with. An arrest warrant for assault was then issued for Hernandez. The woman's mother flew into Texas all the way from Mexico with this message for her daughter. I'm waiting for you. You know that. I love you so much. You know, Mama. You know, Flaquita, te quiero, I love you. Please go back. Just I'm waiting for you. Please. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. Thousands of people releasing lanterns on the Riverwalk for this year's Wishing Lanterns event. Among the crowd, 60 families of fallen military heroes, honoring their loved ones and their sacrifice for this country. Roxy Bustamante shares their story. I love my dad forever in my recognizing the life and the love that we shared with our family members. As unique as this feels when we separate from one another, we're still in this together. Well, still ahead on Channel 6 News Weekend Edition, a Colleen High Schooler known for doing just a little bit of everything is preparing for his biggest adventure yet. And how a Colleen restaurant is doing their part to encourage healthy eating habits for city youth. Stick with us.
Welcome back. Dozens of Central Texas students are preparing to make their mark on the world as they put their pen to paper on National Signing Day. But for one Colleen High Schooler who you may be familiar with, it is only the beginning. We introduced you to Freddie Hicks a few months ago. The standout scholar and shoemaker prom king, who also happened to be a captain on the football team and drum major of the school's marching band. Well, believe it or not, he had another goal he wanted to accomplish, joining Prairie View's Marching Storm Band. And thanks to support from his school and family, this past week he signed his name on the dotted line, becoming their newest member. Whenever I went over to Prairie View and I did band camp for a week, I was really immersed in the school and see how it was like behind the scenes. And I was like, okay, this is where I need to be. This is where God's telling me to be. To hear much more from Freddie about what this accomplishment means and how he was able to achieve it, catch the full report Monday morning during Texas Today. Colleen's Grab a Green is offering up free food to encourage kids to eat healthier. The free fruit for kids program just launched today at their Colleen location and anyone under 18 can walk right in and pick an apple, banana or other fresh fruit at no cost. Employees gave away almost 300 pounds of fruit to over 100 kids today. The owner says fruit makes for a better meal than you might think. Your fruit has fiber, it's got vitamins, it's got minerals and nutrients that not only um, help kids grow, um, it helps them stay focused, it helps their brains, it helps their bodies. Um, so it's just a better quality fuel for their kids. Each child that attended got a free Fruit for Kids ID card to use for future visits, but the store owner says anyone under 18 is welcome to get a free snack, card or not. Well, still ahead on Channel 6 News Weekend Edition, we'll take a look at what's going on in the world of sports. All right, the wet weather, it hangs around tonight and into your Monday, but we could be getting a break from this and we may see a return of 